Hey divas, thank you for stopping by my channel today. I just wanted to give you guys a hair update. I am currently transitioning from relaxed to natural and as you can tell my curls are starting to come in, starting to get more defined but I still do have those relaxed ends in which I am clipping them as I go. As my hair continues to grow, I'm gradually cutting my hair, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like at this time. Again, this is my relaxed hair and the top portion is my natural hair. Where those hairs meet is considered the line of demarcation where it transitions from relaxed to natural. Normally, if you big chop, you would cut it right there just to get off those relaxed ends, but since I am not big chopping I am transitioning I will cut it off as it continues to grow honestly I absolutely adore how my hair is growing how the curls are coming in it's making me so excited and it makes me so eager to continue on with this journey I am going to go ahead and just detangle my hair and follow my hair regimen process. As you can see, I do have some shrinkage, but when you stretch it out, it becomes very, very long, which I love length. And again, I just can't wait until all of this is natural hair. I do have a video on how I go about straightening my hair. I have a complete regimen for you. If you'd like, I'll link it in the description box below. So I'm going to just go ahead and detangle and show you guys just a quick way of how I go about straightening my hair. When it comes to hair goals, my personal goal is to have hair that is heat trained. I want to be natural, but I do like the look of having sleek hair. So when I do straighten my hair, I want the option of making it look very sleek with a lot of body and a lot of shine. And when I wear my hair curly, I want it to be sleek as well with a lot of volume and no frizz. So those are my current hair goals. Again, as I continue to grow in the hair growing process, learning my hair, hair I'm going to find out what works best for me when it comes to products and uh, regimen so stay tuned on that if you guys have any questions so I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up and show you the rest of my detangling and straightening process Now that my hair is completely detangled, I just wanted to show you guys how thick my hair looks. You still see my curl pattern. It's kind of more wavy now since my hair is combed out, but I have noticed that my edges are now more thick thicker than what they used to be when I had a relaxer so I really like that there's one portion of my edges that was very thin just by my ear and I see that it's definitely growing in much thicker special shout out to Tropic Isles Jamaican black castor oil I use that on my edges just to make them thicker and it definitely adds more volume to my hair as well I also noticed that the nape of my hair has been growing tremendously that used to be my problem area now that my hair is completely detangled, I'm going to spray it with heat protectant and then I'm going to blow dry. Now this blow dryer has been with me through thick and thin and, and thick. My hair is so thick. <laughs> so the comb is missing a few uh, teeth, but uh, disregard that it still gets the job done. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on my favorite setting and then get to blow drying. If you have heat damaged hair, it is best for you to go ahead and just air dry. Blow drying is just perfect for me when it comes to straightening my hair and having a sleek finish. But if you are not going to be straightening your hair, I definitely recommend for you to air dry. That way you protect your curls. You don't have unnecessary damage when it comes to heat. You don't have to worry about protecting it from heat. It's, it's more safe. So definitely go that route if you are not straightening your hair. Here is an up close view of my hair, completely blow dried. It is stretched versus my non-stretched, combed out, detangled hair. Having blow dried hair is also another option if you don't want to go into flat ironing your hair and putting more heat on. Uh, blow drying is another way to blow out your hair and as you can see it is straight it's not completely bone straight it still has body it still has some texture so you can definitely choose this route if you'd like. Now that my hair is completely blow dried, I will spray my hair again with heat protectant and then I'm going to proceed with flat ironing my hair. I know you guys know how to flat iron, so I'm not gonna show my in-depth process of that. I also do have other videos of that, so uh, yeah, let's get to it. 
And here's a quick shot again of my freshly blow dried hair if you want to have it in this style. Not completely bone straight but just straight enough to have a lot of volume and get your Diana Ross on. When it comes to my nape, that hair has always been my problem child, but ever since I have been transitioning, I've noticed that uh, that problem has been going away, and I know that has contributed to the fact that I no longer use chemicals on my hair, especially around the nape of my hair. My skin is very sensitive, and I definitely overprocessed it plenty of times, so I know that's where the issue came from. Now, if any of you have any questions specifically concerning my hair care regimen and the products that I use, please check out the description box below. I'll link the video. Alright, so this is the last piece that I need to flat iron and then I will show you guys the finished look. I absolutely love how my hair feels after a flat iron. There's a lot of body, a lot of shine, a lot of movement. And this is basically how I do my hair every two weeks and it lasts very well. You see it has a lot of luster and shine. When it comes to taking care of my hair, I always make sure that I wrap my hair with a satin or silk scarf and that I sleep with it every night. I do not go a night without wrapping my hair, so definitely make that a part of your regimen. Also, you do not have to flat iron your hair every day. If you wrap it, it tends to hold up very well. I do recommend that you seal your ends and that you also do deep conditioning treatments on your hair just to keep up with it. And yeah, this is basically how I maintain my hair outside of protective styles. And let me just say, I am really enjoying the transitioning process. I can't wait to be completely natural, but for now, I'm just going to enjoy the process. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video and I'll give you another hair update in about six months. XOXO.